Yo, welcome back to the channel, man. Second video recorder for y'all today. This is about the NXT Women's Division. How it's the best division in the world for the best women's division in the world, whether that's AW, which I don't really watch, so I don't know, but I heard it's pretty trash. The roster for women. And then WWE's main roster, the Raw SmackDown, in my opinion, mid. Just keeping it the vein. I mean, Jay Cargill, Bianca, outside of those two on SmackDown, they're kind of both three brands, but. Outside of those two, Liv is solid. Uh, Liv is good. Rhea is fantastic, but the storyline between those two is falling apart for me. It's just kind of dying down. And eh. Raquel was kind of random, but we'll get to that's a whole other video for itself. But let's talk about the NXT Women's Division. So I got a list of the whole women's roster right here. I don't know everybody. Again, I just started watching NXT three months ago, three to four months ago. So I'm still learning people's name. But so far, the first person I know on the list is Cora J. I don't know too much about her. Again, she just got back. But so far, she's playing a support role for Roxette, Roxanne. I would assume there'll be a few after the, the new lady. I think her name is Stephanie Dakiro. I think that's her name. If they have a few for her and Roxanne, then Cora J. DeCoster. And potentially they have a few. I would assume that's what we're getting down the road unless somebody gets called up. But I think she's great. Um, so the next person on this list I see is Julia. She just got to NXT. She's already one of my favorites. Easily. So I'm just gonna start naming off a bunch of names first before we even get too deep in it. Jada Parker, I expressed how I feel about her in my last video. I think she's my favorite female wrestler right now. Uh, Shakiria, Shakiria Jackson, I cannot pronounce that right. I like her too. She's really good. Her and Last Legends, who I'll be naming in a second. Uh, Jasmine next. She, I haven't seen her wrestle too much yet. And maybe it's for good reason. Maybe she's not fully developed in the ring, but this is what NXT is for. But so far, the little trio with her, what's it called? Fatal Influence or something like that. It's off brand Fatal Attraction or whatever it's called. But it's whatever. Um, I like her too, Jackson. Next, she's cool. Uh, Kayla Armstrong. I don't know who that is. Maybe she's one of the uh, NIL people, but I don't know who that is. I'm just going to name people I know. Uh, Kalani Jordan, I've expressed how I feel about her last video. I'm going to really get too deep into it, the ones who I like the most, but she's one of them. Oh, uh, Last Legends, I've already expressed that. I just named three straight black women off the road. Let's go. Uh, Lola Vice, expressed how I feel about her in the last video, but we can, you know, we can keep talking about her in a minute. Uh, Nikki Lyons, I'm very impressed with her, showing that I just saw for the first time this past week, this past Tuesday. As recording this video, October 18th, by the way. So that's a Friday. And then Roxanne Perez, you know how I feel about her. We'll get to her in a minute. And then Soruka. And then, oh yeah, Stephanie Valkyra. I think that's her name, but not the right, cool. So I just named off a few women. And going by off what I just named, um, like I said, Julia, Jada Parker, Shakira Jackson, uh, 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 Kalani Jordan, uh, Lola Vice, uh, Soruka, uh, Nikita Lyons, Roxanne Perez, Stephanie Vaccaro, Julia, I think I said Julia already. But, and there's so many more names on this list, but it's just, it's that's phenomenal list. You can't name that many people women on SmackDown and Raw because SmackDown and Raw is so flooded with garbage. And then the best part about it, Last Legends and Shakira Jackson are getting shine on SmackDown and Raw these past two weeks. Now, the SmackDown was BS when Kevin Owens interrupted them. I think that was lame as hell. Then they match was stupid short. Then they proceeded to go to Raw, get more TV time because EO Sky and Kyrie Sane take on Bianca and Jay. Obviously, Bianca and Jay won. Distraction. So we can get this match here. It's probably now we're going to get the match next Tuesday between Damage Control and I can't remember the tag team name, but Shakira Jackson and Last Legends. Boom. It's a win-win situation. Can't lose. Um, and it's just cooking. Like I said, with the women's division, it's cooking. It's the best in the world. They got some of the best speakers. It's the best way to grow and develop. And this is something AEW seriously needs a developmental brand. Maybe they got something. I don't know. And it, also, NXT superstars I've seen on YouTube crossover to TNA, which is cool. I don't watch TNA, but it will give me a reason to watch it. So out of all those women I just named, who's the best in the ring? That's hard because you can go Kalani Jordan. You can easily go Soruka, which if you picked her, I wouldn't be mad. Um, overall, they're both really athletic, and I would have to pick between those two specifically, and those just the two I named. On the key lines, is really good. I think Roxanne Perez is highly underrated in the ring. I think she's really good to be that small in stature. I'm going to pick Soruka. I just think she's just a little bit better in the ring with her fly, high-flying ability. It's actually technically beautiful how she does. I said that so wrong. But it's actually beautiful how she does it in the ring. Um, like I said, Last Legends is like the powerhouse. Shakira Jackson, how would I how would you proceed her style? I don't really know. Technician, uh, I don't know. But like I said, uh, Jada Parker is my favorite. I've said this in the last video. I love Jada Parker. Her her character, her style, her influence. 
and maybe it's just because they want them to act more black and i don't it sounds stupid saying that but i get a natural feel from her when she speaks because i feel like this is how she talked for real like not ghetto or anything but i feel like her jakira jackson lash legends kalani jordan i feel like this is how they actually talk for real a lot of them and i named a bunch of black women because i feel like this is how they naturally talk like it's just natural to them and it comes natural to them it doesn't feel scripted and robotic when the nxt women do it and roxanne perez sometimes she can sound a tad bit robotic just a tad bit like she's got that wwe stamp of approval right on her head but jada parker in my opinion is far above everybody else she just sounds so naturally fluid when she goes to talking or doing a promo and it sounds beautiful just absolutely sound beautiful man um like i said so many women i just named uh julia might not have the greatest english but i can understand her really well so when she cut promos it makes sense but it's the best women division in the world I mean, you can debate me on it if you want to if you if you don't like this video and i sound like a runaround that's fine but this is the best women's division in the world the wwe main roster has nothing on it you name me five straight women wrestlers on the top of your head that's better than that group of women i just named this is the future by the way so thank god because i mean we don't know how it's gonna be when they get caught up because you know triple h he can be back and forth sometime it's what it is i get it it's heavy schedule um bro and then you still got Gigi dolan who's out right now i'm looking at the list again uh i forgot her name from chase you is it is it her no it's not her but the chase you girl she's really entertaining too it's so many different oh lara vicaro is on here too which is weird but she's on nxt and raw i guess but yeah it's so many wrestlers here <clears throat> and then like i said Nia, not Nia Jax, my god uh, oh it's more down here so tatum paxley is really good too i love her character look weird creepy uh weirdo that you don't want to be around she's fantastic like i said i said jada parker has the best my skills but uh tater packs might have the best character it's that simple oh tia hall i like her too that's the one from chase you she's crazy running around the ring Wendy Chu is really good too she plays the creepy character really well i don't really too much care for the creepy uh dark soul characters in 2024 because it just doesn't work for me anymore um but yeah i mean it's, it's this is a whole list of women here all of them are great in their own way. They're all still growing and developing. But this is the best women's division in the world. You're not going to name me anything better. If you want to say anything is better than NXT women's division, you won't because there's no women's division in the world of wrestling that's better than NXT women's division. If you want to fight me on that, meet me outside with it. We can we can talk about it. You can hit me up in the comment section. If you want to be in one of my videos, please let me know. We can have a whole full discussion about this. There's nothing touching this women's division. But if you guys like this video and want more content like this, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Like, share, and comment, subscribe. And follow our podcast, too. I didn't say it on the first video. I got two friends. We do a podcast. Record, we record weekly. We upload weekly. We try to get shorts throughout the week. We try to get clips throughout uh, either on Monday through Friday. Link in the description will be below for that. I'll see you on the next video, man.